You see Motley? Motley who? Motley Crew. I've been here for a month waiting for them. They haven't been here. I need some money. When are they going to be here? Tommy! Hey! How you doing? <laughs> I give up. Where you been? You saw us get the interview. You fucked up. You trusted me. <laughs> Check this out, dude. I'm, I'm sure they're in here. We'll... Fuck. I can't believe this. Oh, well, fuck it. Let's bail. God. Get you down. Here you go. So, where are we? Let's see this here. Go through. That's got to be it. Someone push that button. This one here? Yep. Yes, what is it? Vic, you forgot about the interview. <laughs> no! Go away! No interviews while I'm on my vacation. This means you. I'm out of here. Vic! Vic, we got to do the interview. Nick! There he is on the monitor. Patrick, you get the door. Okay. One more time. Vince! Vince in here? Vince. Vince Neal. Vince? Vince Neal. Is he in here? Oh. Vince! Dude! What are you doing, man? You missed the interview. Dude, I forgot, man. I'm sorry. Come on, we gotta do this. Oh, man. Uh-uh, I ain't going anywhere. You promised. Come on, dude. Check this out. <laughs> well, have you... Let's well, go. Where are the other guys at? I don't know. Let's go find them. I got my car out front. Let's go. Okay. Oh man. oh, man, what time is it? <laughs> How'd you guys... Oh, yeah, I left that note. Dude. Wake up, dude. We got to bail. We got to get out of here, man. <laughs> man. Let's go. You've been Stay looking. We'll come with you. Okay, uh, let's go. See? Do not enter. In session. They gotta be in here. Let's rock. Yay! Yo! <laughs> well. Well, fuck it. Let's get out of here before they get here. Vicky! <laughs> come on, man. We gotta do the interview. <laughs> No, man. I'm not cruising. Come on, we found the other guys. Yeah, nah. Well, we'll do it right now. We'll drive along with you. All right, follow me then. He's in there, man. I know he's going to attack you. Let's go. Let's go, boys. Six, what's happening? I'm looking for you, man. Where have you been? Oh, man, I had to get a new tat. I told you. Nicky, man, we're going to do the interview. Oh, man, let's just do it here. Let's do the interview here. Now? Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go. Oh, right in my head. Oh, man. Nick. <laughs> you guys Nick. got me, man. We got gotcha. you. You got him right on the money. You got him uh, right on the money. Come on, babe. You guys. Okay, hold on. Let me get hey. this taken care of and you can jump in, okay? All right, thanks a lot. Got our back window. Got right window. <laughs> See? That's why I'm in this business. Is this fun? Is this fun? All the way. I mean, come on. Let's go on. Good side. Hey, we got a goose. That's fun. Right there. Ready to party. Hey, Trent. Let me ask you a few questions. Get back inside. What's one of your earliest influences? Uh, 
probably probably Deep Purple and Aerosmith. Bands like that. I used to play them a lot when I was younger. My first concert, uh, I went to a 10 years after concert. I was just a little nard. What's the first record you got? Brave Up by the Yardbirds. Definitely a happening album. Jeff Beck is. Who is speaking of Jeff Beck? Who are your influences? Well, like I said, Jeff Beck, Jimi Hendrix, and Larry Moe and Curly Joe. What's the first record you ever bought? Uh, believe it or not, an Osmond record, man. <laughs> so, was the first time you performed in public? Uh, let's see. I was about 16 years old. And my parents were out of town, and uh, I had a party for about 300 people. And we just jammed in the backyard. But then my parents came home like in the middle of the night when the party was still happening. So they kind of freaked out at first. But I, all of a sudden, my dad was dancing with a bunch of blondes in the living room. So I think they had a good time. <laughs> I used to live in Seattle, Washington. And I used to go in this music store every day to school and on the way home from school. And I'd play this uh, it's a gold top Les Paul. And I was really bad. I wasn't good at it at all. But I was starting, and this kid came up to me in school and asked me if I wanted to play bass in his band. So I said, yeah. I didn't have a bass, so I went and I asked for an application for work at the store, took an empty guitar case along with me. When the guy turned around to give me the, the application, I'd already stuck the guitar in the guitar case. And, you know, I said, thanks a lot. I'll come back tomorrow with the application. And I got to the, to the place to uh, play in the band. The guy goes, what's this? And I go, you know. I'm here to play bass. He goes, it's a guitar. So I played, uh, I played bass on a guitar for about six months. That's how I got started. I used to play bass for a while. When I first started, I played bass. Don't, but tell, don't tell Nikki that. <laughs> the calling of the wild made me a guitar player. I was 16, and it was easier to get laid when, you, when you're in a band and you got free booze. And you drive around and live out. No, that comes later. <laughs> the getting later or the limos? No, later came okay, right away. <laughs> what was the first video you guys did? Uh, take me to the top and uh, toast to the town. No, I'm sorry, public enemy number one. I fucked up. Wait, wait, no, no, dude, no, dude, sit back here. We're gonna watch, we're gonna watch the first video. Here, let's, the first one we've ever done. Vince lost his sight for, no, 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 dude, no over here. Great. Over here. No, over here. Straight ahead. Vince here. went blind from you. Oh, okay. Okay. okay, now watch. Okay. No! Oh. Oh. All right, now it's Sam's time. Dude, remember the phone cord? That's how it's how the first one was the phone cord. Look, I was young then. <laughs> we all were. <laughs> I was not what happened? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Dude, that's art. That's no, art. <laughs> Go away! Do not disturb! How old were you in the I was five. 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 I was three. What was this, 1981? I think. 81, 82. It was, uh, 1980. Hey! Hey! Yeah. Hey! Yeah. We all know the song, right? Yeah. I don't want to hear it. 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 We know what's going on. We're, We're cool. We're, We're cool. Suck me up my dick. <laughs> We're cool. Suck me up my dick. Get out of here! Get out of here! Come on! Well, the judge, the judge, take that one. <laughs> How stupid! This the one I fought. Wait, what happened when I come up out of the fog? It's coming up. Okay. Oh my God, we're out of tune. Wait a minute, we just, I, think, I think there's three on here. No, no, no. I just did. Where's the fog came? <laughs> oh, I think it's the end. That's when Tommy laid on his back and farted and moved it. What song is this? I'll be getting another one. Whoops, whoops. <laughs> <laughs> Very inexperienced here. Well, 
<laughs> Ooh, baby! <laughs> So we're gonna we're gonna have with everybody who buys it, they get a pair of these glasses, so they can't watch it. They have to wear these during this. Okay, that's, a, that's enough. No, if you want to fucking torture somebody, you fucking strap them down for fucking three songs and make them watch it. I'd rather watch this. <laughs> Okay. Okay, it's over. Okay, okay, okay. And it's fading down now. Vince is, um... Vince is the ultimate singer. When I first met Vince, I was completely amazed with him. He's, uh... He's everything a singer should be. He's got the attitude, the looks, the moves. He's... He always gets the lady, you know? He, he's got... He's got it down. They want to be cuffed! Oh, can't do that. We gotta act they want to be cuffed! Cuff them! Will you take this Search him, seriously! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> what's great is uh, it's not like he tries. He he is what, what you see, and that's what I, I love about Vince. He's very much the perfect lead singer. How about Tommy? <laughs> T-Bone. Uh, T-Bone's just, uh, he's, he's wild all the time. He's, he's loud, he's funny, he's got a lot of energy. If, if party's ever dying, he's the guy that brings it up. What's your most terrifying experience? Well, check this. This is one time I had to fucking piss so fucking bad. I was driving my Corvette with my buddy, Spidey, my drum roadie. I'm going down the freeway, I had to piss, piss. You know when you're going, ow, 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 ow. So I pull over to the side of the freeway, I forget to put the car in park. I jump out of the car so fast that it's still in drive. My fucking car, my Corvette, runs over me. My own car ran over me. I call my car pristine now after that incident. Isn't that cool? <laughs> I swear, it's true. No one believes me. Look at He doesn't believe me. He's just fucking crazy is what he is. He's fucking nuts. It's great. But Mick, he, we hear he's a little paranoid. He might have his ear up the wall or something. But... Uh, I can't talk about Mick right now. He's uh, he's going through some hard times. In fact, he's going through some really rough times. I, you know, Mick Mick may not. Can I say this? Should should I tell? Well, Mick well, Mick may not. We won't play it back for him. Okay. Well, Mick may not make it. You know. He he drinks a little too much, and it looks looks rough. Hey, dude, what's going on? <laughs> I heard what you said. <laughs> and you're dead. <laughs> you're dead. <laughs> you're a dead man. Mick's great. He's perfect. I, I noticed you live down here by the beach. Yeah. What's your favorite fish? The elusive fish in the pantyhose that no one can seem to find. <laughs> the way he plays guitar is so unique compared to anybody else. I mean, everybody. In my opinion, as far as guitar players, not everybody, but most guitarists there play too fast, and they're always concerned with, with showing off. And Mick uh, puts his ego in the back seat and plays good music all the time. Melodic, rememberable leads and stuff. And stuff. How about Mickey? I don't know. That's, don't ask me that. Hey, come on, I mean, that's, like, that's a Barbara Walters question. No, well, you're not Barbara. You don't look as good as Barbara Walters. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, Nicky. He's uh, he's pretty intense, very, very serious about his tunes and his lyrics, and who also loves his Jack Daniels. He's, uh, you know, definitely a, a Jack lover, and I met him for the first time. I knocked on his door, and it was actually quite scary, man. He had, like, bangs down to his, uh, to, oh, covered his eyes. I couldn't see his eyes, and all he, I could see is his big hairball and, like, earrings. You know, it kind of freaked me out, because he looked like a psycho. So is that true about Nicky lighting his leg on fire in Live Wire? Yes. Uh-huh, you got proof. Now, is it true that you kept on pouring lighter fluid on his leg? <laughs> you know me. I used to wear leather pants and those leather boots, and then I would put uh, rubbing alcohol on him, and Vince would come out with this sword, and it would be on fire, and he would touch my boots on fire. It was great. It was a gas. 
<laughs> Nikki used to practice all this shit. We used to like take pyro things and explode shit in the house. Poor Nikki, like with gasoline and light him up and go, Nikki, come here, let's try this again. <laughs> light me on fire. All He's the standing time, on fire. The landlord would come in because he lived right above us. And he <laughs> smoked smoke. into and his windows and go, What the hell are you boys remember, doing remember now Nikki today? It's great up here, it's Mulholland Drive. And that is Hollywood. Motley Crue's hometown. This is it, this is where Motley first started out. This is, this is the strip right here. We used to walk up and down these streets. We were making $20 a week. Hey girls! Woo! We're made. And we used to come here just looking for girls to feed us. That was the only way we survived out here. We'd stumble out of, we'd stumble out of the rainbow. We'd walk into the Roxy. We'd walk down the whiskey, and we'd walk home, because we just looked right up the street over here. I was working in this liquor store, and Mick came in and asked me you know, if I was a musician, whatever, and I said, yeah. And uh, I said I was like into Aerosmith and uh, Ted Nugent, uh, you know, Kiss, stuff like that. And it was happening back in like 1979, 78. And Mick, Mick was into like Bebop Deluxe, uh, Bunch of weird jazz, Jeff Beck. So instantly we didn't get along. Instantly. And I think he left the store, told me to fuck off or something, you know. I swear to God, and that's how we met. And then that night, he, well, he goes, well, if you want to see a real guitar player, come down and see me. I'm playing this place called the Stone Pony. And he was in a band called Spiders and Cowboys. 
And I went in there, and he was just ripping on the guitar, doing a slide guitar solo with the mic stand and everything. Blew me away. So in 1981, put Motley Crue together. Mick comes in, and uh, you know, he's auditions for the band. You know, we're playing together. For God, it must have been a month. And one day, I just like kind of, I went, "Are you that guy?" And he goes, "I thought you were that guy." And we hated each other. We met, but now we're like best friends. Tommy and Nicky met each other through a, a friend of theirs that they had both together, and they found me through an ad in the paper. Loud, rude, and aggressive guitar player, me. And they went down to the Starwood and saw me singing. And as when we first started out, we started playing all these clubs. So what was it like making your video, Looks to Kill? We were in the mood, man. It was like four in the morning. And this never was... piss off four drunk guys holding clubs. I mean, never. Torches. Torches that are on Torches. fire. On fire. We got in a fight with this old man. We were standing up there for about five hours with torches, feeling and like lipstick. assholes. And with our lipstick on, and this guy was just giving us problems, and Nikki ended up fucking saying, well, we get, just because we wear lipstick don't mean we can't kick your ass. <laughs>
He said at one time he was sitting around with all of his friends, and someone comes in and goes, isn't this a motley looking crew? Oh, that's and he good. goes, well, that's, that's kind of cool. So he wrote it down. I mean, we were going to call the band Christmas. I mean, could you imagine? <laughs> Hi, I'm Christmas. <laughs> what kind of woman do you like? Any woman with a pussy. What's your favorite type of woman? Well, right there. <laughs> Record? Oh, favorite Motley record. Uh, God, I like all of them. I don't know. <laughs> Ten seconds of love. Um, use it or lose it. Smoking. Shout. Looks to kill. Man, I could go on. I like them all. I love them. Favorite Motley record right now, as it stands, is Theater of Pain. But we'll see. Will, you know what, bud? What do you need? Um, I just want to ask you a question. Yes. Um, what's your favorite uh, Motley Crue song? I don't know what a Motley Crue is. Well, they, they kind of look like they kind of look like me. You know, it's a, it's a, a rock and roll band. Have you heard of us? Never heard of us. No. Nah. I like "Keep Your Eye on the Money." I think it's one of my favorite songs. Looks the kill. You know, I like "On with the Show." I think that's that's my favorite. Smoking in the boys' room. Live wire's cool too though. Fight for your rights, that's a good one. That's my favorite song. I, I like Too Young to Fall in Love because it, it has some really neat chord changes and mixed guitar solo is really neat.
taking a piss, man. I can't even take a piss with you. Why don't you guys get, don't you guys have jobs? Get out of here, man. Jesus Christ. Look at this. God, now my zipper's stuck. I'm in hell. <laughs> <laughs> What's your favorite Motley story? Yeah, Mick got arrested one night in uh, in Denver when we were on when we were on tour down there, and, and he got busted for indecent exposure. It was a couple of years ago. We were playing in Denver, Colorado. I remember real plane. Uh, Tommy was running through the hallways naked. I took decided to take my clothes off and run down the halls and harass the shit out of everybody. An old lady poked her head out the out of her uh, hotel room. Zombies running around naked. Called the front desk. They sent the cops up. Said a man with long black hair has just been seen running around naked. The first door they knocked on, they said to some guy with long black hair running up and down the hallway. He's nude. So I got popped. That was the first door they knocked on. That's the guy. And they took him to jail. Indecent exposure. <laughs> What are we driving in right now? This is a 1976 L82 Corvette, red on red, massive amounts of power. There's a, out of this small 350, I'm getting about 450 horsepower. In other words, I'm kicking some ass. <laughs> Hope that isn't a cop behind me. No, it isn't. Jam it. Hi. How are you doing today? It's fine. Just What's doing your name, the... sir? Mick Mars. Doing a video. Hey! Oh, no. So where is it, Jimmy? I swear a dog ran off with it. <laughs> The principal's office. Back again, huh, Jimmy? But a dog really did run off with it. You're just never able to see our side of things, are you? Bend over. Your side of it. I wish somebody could see my side of it.
Jimmy. I'm afraid that we owe you an apology. One more time! Now maybe you'll see my side of things. Casey, this is the world, the world, this is Casey. Look at this fucking tattoo. My autograph, the band's name, the new album mascot, Theater of Pain, and Nikki's autograph. Is this a fucking fan or what? Let's see some of those tattoos. Yeah, let's yeah. see them, babies. Now, what are they about again? See, I'm looking for this one right here. Witchy woman. I'm looking for her. So anybody out there looks like her. I was hoping that when I got it, you know, like the sailors do, you can move a muscle and they can wiggle, but she doesn't do that. What's the name of the next album? What do you call? Right here, dude. Girls, girls, girls. That's the name. They can't change it now because it's tattooed on my arm. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. <laughs> girls, girls, girls. I think it's gonna be our best album ever. And everything deals with just women, motorcycles, booze, everything that, that is Motley Crue, you know, being young, having a good time. And I think it's some of our best stuff so far. <laughs> favorite video. My favorite video is absolutely Home Sweet Home. It's home Sweet Home, it's my favorite one. Okay, what do they do in Home Sweet Home? Show them. <laughs> I'm on my way. <laughs> it's you, dude. Yo, I'm on my way. Both for you, Mr. Moss. I'm on my way. <laughs> Come on my way! You know I'm a dreamer But my heart's a gold I had to run away high So I One more night, and I'm coming on this long and winding road. 
talk to him. can't do that shit. Yeah, we won't even talk to him. Let's not even talk to him. So, you know, you know, these guys are so full of shit. I think we should get rid of these guys. Well, dude, let's just say we have a meeting or something. Get the fuck okay. out of here. Uh, listen, guys, we got, we got a band meeting. Okay, we gotta get out of here. We gotta right? go. We gotta go. Easy, man. See you later. Broken down with his broken dreams